No food, at least I'll lose some weight by the time I get to Canada. We have a little bit of food. Uh, okay, Military Depot, Swarmed Arcade, or Commercial Row. Military Depot is what it's gonna have to be. What time of day is this gonna be? Afternoon, impossible, and sluggish. At least it's sluggish. Let's go check it out. Um, we're gonna need to make sure that we keep our inventory relatively light. So, Faye, leave this flashlight and um, leave this bat. We're gonna need to get rid of something. Holy crap. What could we pot? Wait, actually, no, we aren't. I can, yep, stack that. That's fine. Okay. So, we've got these heavy weapons, which does scare me a little bit. You know what? With that being said, I will take this bat. Okay, if I need to switch to the bat, I can switch to the bat. Okay, let's go, everybody. We are a wood chipper of a group. We can just walk in here and just slaughter zombies. There we go. So I'm not too scared, I say, famous last words, um, but I think that we should be able to clear out these zombies. Re it's 6.30 p.m., by the way. It said afternoon. Um, I don't remember saying late afternoon, okay? It's a pretty late afternoon, I gotta say. Uh, I don't trust... Actually, as long as I keep you guys... Wait, oh, you guys aren't shooting? Oh, God. Good thing I checked that. Put you on smashing. There we go. Last thing I want you is shooting that freaking thing. So we're going to need a flashlight. What's my point here? Thank goodness we got sluggish zombies. It's going to make things a little easier, but once nightfall comes, it's going to make things a lot harder. And I'll be honest, I am a little irritated that it said afternoon, and it was more late afternoon. I mean, goodness, even evening, really, 6.30, by the time we got into the military depot. It's pretty late. Now, I'm going to have to make some tough decisions as far as clearing out my inventory goes because I'm not going to have a ton of inventory space in my car to deal with all of these items that I'm going to have. Okay, these zombies are pushing us back. I've got some space to fall back to, though. If I can't take everything, I can't take everything. But what they should have in here is a turret, which will really come in handy for us during the later siege. And I gotta get my hands on that turret. And we got ammo. I'm not gonna worry about the grenades and stuff so much because usually on the last siege before Canada. There's rooms that have grenades and stuff. So I'm not going to worry about picking those ones up so much. Just more the uh, the weapons and the turrets and stuff. That's what I'm going to be looking to get my hands on. There was a bazooka up here that I should probably grab. Okay, and it is getting really late, so we're going to need to make a run to the car. Which is scary because there's going to be so many zombies between the military depot and the car. Okay, we've got ourselves the bazooka here. Nope, let's drop that instead. There we go. Alright, into the other room now we go. out these guys. I am very upset that I don't have a flashlight now. Because it is getting so dark. I don't want to have to go back to the car, though. If I go back to the car, I feel like it should just be the last and only time we go back to the car. 
because there are going to be so many zombies between me and the car. I'm going to have to do it, though. I'm going to have to do it. It's just going to have to be done. Okay, let's go. I mean, I've got a good group of characters that can really clear out some zombies, but goodness, it's going to be so many zombies to clear out. So many zombies. Okay, here we go. Let's go get a flashlight. Hopefully not die. I mean, we might find ourselves in a situation where we need to tuck tail and run. Let's funnel a bunch of zombies into here if we can. We should be able to kill a lot of them. If we get tired, we can always pull back a little bit. We've got space. I feel like we're doing pretty good, though, so far. I was wondering if I should play as contender because she falls back so far and she isn't actually part of the fighting a lot of the time. And I feel like if I played as contender and then I had Rick be an NPC, that it could work a little bit better. I may play around with that. Okay, we just cleared out quite a few zombies. Okay, there we go. That was actually pretty freaking good. Um... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God. You know what? Screw it. We're going. Oh, I meant to get to the trunk, but we left anyway. Ah, oh, That was... You know what? We got our grenade launcher out of the deal. Okay. Um, contender, attempt to fix it. There we go. She fixes it in no time. Thank goodness. Okay. As much as I didn't want to leave there. Okay. Uh, ooh, abandoned gun range. Um, carefully train one person or train the group has haphazardly. Training the group haphazardly just sounds like a terrible idea, doesn't it? It does to me. Um, I'm going to train one person carefully. And that one person's going to be Rick. Okay, my shooting is now okay. And now it's revealed. And now, honestly, if I look at my character, I think that I know everything about Rick. Nothing is hidden from me. Okay. That military depot bummed me out. I didn't have a flashlight because it's that afternoon. It lied to me. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. The game lied to me. It's lied to me twice. It said that there was a convenience store. There was no convenience store. It said afternoon when it was clearly late afternoon. And look at this. The dink door. The group comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks. Faye says, I'm not a dink. Or we can try to recruit the dink door. Um, I got to see. Have I seen the dink door yet? I feel like the dink door... Um, so, if we try to recruit them, uh, random character, I'm not a dink. Uh, irritating character tells them to cool. Oh, random character says, I'm not a dink. Okay. Um, you are especially a huge dink. That's going to be bad. Uh, tell them to cool it. Okay, so the only options I have are try to recruit or I'm not a dink. And this is going to be bad. If I try to recruit, though, um, what happens if I try to recruit? Something tells me that it won't be good. Party full, you got like a billion people, go away. You'll have to clear a spot if you want this annoying person, if a character, or um, size up their skills. Okay. Um, I don't want to take them. Okay, you know what I can do? I can leave them behind, I think. I think if I say I want, there we go. And their name is Amy. I'm gonna leave Amy behind, there we go. That's the way we get around the bad option. I can't wait to meet other survivors on the way to Canada. Mm. Oh, we ran out of gas? Okay. Oh, no. We got hurt. Leap of faith. The group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while on a cliffside road without a car. The only way to escape was jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not fatal. Okay, we all got hurt once. For Bogan, that's bad, but hopefully we can patch him up. Without a car, the group is easy prey for a bandit group. Uh, the ambush, all weapons, ammo, gas supplies, everything. Bogan says drop half your loot and run. If I refuse to fight, Bogan will die. Without a doubt. But we can drop half of our loot. Which is probably going to be the best course of action. But what is half of my weapons? Oh. This is bad. Um, I'm going to drop half our loot and run. I have to. Okay. Bogan's wits are revealed. Uh, wait. 
Bogan expected an ambush, so he thought of an escape plan earlier. The group quickly tosses half of their supplies on the ground as the distraction runs as a hail of bullets sing by. The plan was really simple and far from perfect, but things could have gone a lot worse. We lost 200 ammo. Um, 105 rifle. Oh my god, so much ammo. Uh, medical supply and food. Okay, at least we have our weapons. I'm pretty sure we still have our weapons. Deja vu. Rick spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over uh, to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car that they started in. Rick takes the keys. They kept the middle car, sticks it in. It works. Okay. So, yep. I still have all my weapons. Um, I had a lot of ammo, luckily. The group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board on the kitchen table. Um, oh. Um, who will make it to Canada? Who will betray the team? Where's the loot? Um, oh, okay. Let's see. The Ouija board... There's a lot of different options that you could possibly get with the Ouija board. But, um... We're going to go with, uh... Okay, if we do who will make it to Canada, that could be bad. Um, if we say where's the loot, um, then we will get some loot, but it's not going to be worth it. It won't be worth it. We're going to leave this nonsense alone, all right? Not going to even mess with that. Bogan heals. Uh, whoa. Contender treats some of their wounds. Oh, Bogan regenerates because he's freaking Bogan. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make soft supplies. Burning house or house rescue. You know what? Let's do a house rescue. Because um, as far as gas goes, yeah, I don't want to waste gas driving around again. We'll do a house rescue. Starting pact irritated. Morning. It better be morning. Okay, I've got myself the rocket launcher. And... Yeah, we do still have the grenade launcher. Bogan has that. I'm going to have to drop something in order to take that. I've had this air horn on me, and I know this, a lot of people commented that the air horn can be pretty useful. Um, you know, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the snub nose, okay? There we go. I'm going to put you here. So that means Faye, okay, and me. Uh, wait. Okay, there's my hammer. It's just down at the bottom. I was like, where's my hammer? Okay. Go up this way, everybody. Oh, there's a double barrel shotgun here. Okay. Yeah, let's clear out all the zombies in this room real quick. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. Zombies have been cleared. Now let's go and find the survivor. Alright. Also, I wanted to play around with you know what um swapping there we go i'm gonna try this out all right i'm gonna play as contender because i feel like she has not been up front nearly enough and if i let rick do rick's thing it may be a little bit more efficient We'll try this for this level and see if it works out. And if it does, then I'll, I'll just stick as contender for a while. I want to switch to Rick, though, for shooting-related things, because I just don't trust... Well, particularly for, like, throwing Molotovs and stuff. Other than that, I think that I can let Rick do shooting on his own. It'll be fine. And I have a lot of guns, so I need to just let my crew go to town with the gun. Well, honestly, it's just going to be me and Faye who can use the guns. I guess Bogan can technically use the guns, but Bogan's Fierce Claws would make more sense for him to use. Okay, so, yep, we got this door over here. Oh, hello, kitchen. Great. If I can get some extra food before the final siege, that would be delightful. Okay, and we are finding quite a bit of food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten food. This is great. Because we can eat an extra meal before the last siege. Oh, man. It'll be on like Donkey Kong. 
Did I go this way? Oh, man, there's so much stuff going on. There we go. I did go that way. Okay. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, another shotgun with some ammo. I think that we have plenty of shotguns. We don't need another one. Some more medical supplies. Okay, this is a dead end room. Oh, hey, what's up? Zeta says that she really wants to get out of here. Follow us, Zeta. I wonder what kind of training you're going to give us. Let's see. And I know there's other rooms in here, right? Wait, was there not? Was it only those two doors? It might have been. I mean, we found plenty of supplies, and I'm ready to get out of here. But all right, let's go. Yes, let's go. All right, so Zeta, what are you going to give us? Um, you can give us 45 shotgun shells or group training for shooting. How many shotgun shells do I have at the moment? I only have 59. So honestly, that would... Oh, can I take that fire axe from you? I think I can. Um... I'm going to do that, and yeah, I'm going to get rid of the air horn. Um, oh. So, shotgun shells. Yeah, I'll take the shotgun shells. I think. Yeah, okay. 45 shotgun shells. <clears throat> this is all my promotion manager's fault. Okay, we're all healed up again. Well, no, Faye needs to be healed one more time. Okay, we got another mini golf park incident here. Once again, Contender hits the ball so far. She did not learn from her mistake doing that last time. Just knocks it out of the park. Faye's fully healed now. How many more days do we have? We've got to be getting close. We need more food, though. Oh, my goodness. Uh, prepared Preppers Magazine. Um, <clears throat> the group siphons gas from some abandoned vehicles, then spots a magazine. Um, share it with everyone. Share it with Contender. Uh, I'm going to share it with everyone. There we go. My mechanical increases, Bogan shooting increases, face shooting increases, we get 58 gas. Okay. So look at that. We got shooting training anyway. Uh, I guess we could have gotten double that. The group is driving down the long stretch. Okay, good. It is time to trade, and it is one driving day until Canada, by the way. So if I look at our supplies and our gas, we have how much gas on us? We have 94 gas. Okay, so we're not going to need all that gas. We can trade for some food. Let's go all the way up here and see what we got here. This is going to be the last trader camp that we have available to us. Is there free stuff in here? No, but there are pipe bombs. And we could prob I hope that we could sell some weapons. If we could sell some weapons, that'd be super duper helpful to us. Let's see, what are you doing? Um, he offers to join you. No, I don't want you. Um, okay, yes, I can. Let's see. No, you're... S um, no. I don't care about weapons. I will trade you weapons for food. Gladly. Uh, you, cowboy. Larry. Nope. Sorry, Larry. Gonna leave you for now. Uh, this man is carrying several shotguns. Shotguns for sale. I don't want you. Know me. Uh, 30 gas for 10 ZP. Mm, okay. Honestly, that 30 gas, I might take him up on that offer if it means getting some food here. Uh, I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. Oh, great weapons. Okay, perfect. Let's go get a bunch of weapons here. Uh, swap mates. Gonna make Rick the leader. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sell some weapons for sure. So let's see, trunk. Okay, we can go ahead and trash that. Uh, I don't trust the bazookas, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to take you. Um, I'm going to um, take you. And oh, I can only have one shotgun on me. That's right. Um, take you. Okay, let's go and trade some weapons. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sell the shotgun for food. Sell the, um, you can sell the double barrel for, wait. Okay. I thought that I had equipped the, uh, bazooka. Clearly I didn't. Come on, bazooka. There we go. Let's sell another shotgun. And let's see. What else? Um, parking meter? Wait. Why? Why four? Oh, it's because this is full. That's why. I got to get rid of some stuff. I got to get rid of some stuff. Okay. Let's go sell some more items. Uh, sell shotgun. 
sell the bazooka. Nope, oh, I did not want to sell the double barrel, but whatever. Okay. Let's go back once more. Okay. Um, I wonder if it'll let me sell the pistols. I gotta imagine it will. And now I could probably sell this as well. Okay. Sell the parking meter. Okay, won't let me sell the pistols. That's fine. You got food as well. Is it gas for food? Um, it is gas for food. I have 94 gas at the moment. Um, two cans of food for every 25 units. Okay, I will go ahead and do 25. There we go. And that might be it as far as things that we need in this town. Let me just triple check before we head out. There was Nomi. There was the fire. Okay. Let's hit the road. One more driving day. Oh, morale? Bogan's morale just decreased. Okay. Um, Faye and Bogan apparently got into it. Okay, we've got a near sunset, one and a half hours. Okay. Uh... Here we go. Um, I've got a pistol on me. Let's go ahead and get that pistol off. I will give myself a shotgun, and you know what? I will give you some pipe bombs too. Um, Bogan, you don't need this pistol. Honestly, I don't even know how you got that pistol. Um, I will give you this. How much gas do I have at the moment? 59 gas, okay. I think I'm going to... Oh, man. Um, Faye, carry this chainsaw as well okay okay this oh this could work for us because we got this circle going on as far as places to make a stand go this isn't the worst um, I'm gonna switch to actually hold on throw a pipe bomb get bit for sure. There we go. Throw another pipe bomb. And then I'm going to switch to... Let's see. Swap meat. Take the chainsaw and team go shooting. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to keep on kiting them this way. gonna try and kite them this way while we pick off these guys on this side there we go okay we may make this and then I'm gonna save my chainsaw to get us out of here Oh my god, we may make this. And I had just enough shotgun ammo to, to do this. Oh my god, we made it. Holy crap. Holy crap. Whoo, we made it. Okay. Okay. Back on the road. Okay, we've got one more of those. <laughs> I'm patched up. Everybody's patched up. Okay. 42 gas. Okay, we feel uh, contender faster run speed, strength, morale, and random skill gain. If I look right now, morale's pretty good. Uh, mechanical ooh, strength, though. Strength, I feel like everybody could benefit from. Yeah, I feel like we're going to go strength. All right, there we go. Um, did Bogan's strength not go up, by the way? No, I guess it did. Okay. So everybody has very high strength now, which is great. 
and the group prepares. We eat a food. There's food left over. There we go. All right. We can eat a second meal. That's what it's all about, baby. Bogan's morale increases. Faye's morale increases. Um, my dexterity increases. Everybody's dexterity increases. Okay. Okay, nearly at the border to Canada, the group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead, no hope, for afternoon. This is the big one, everybody. All or nothing. Looking at my equipment. We got a shotgun. I gotta have this Uzi. Um, let's see, Faye, you got the cowboy rifle, and that's fine. You know, I think I'm gonna give you this as well, just to hold on to it for me. Bogan... I'm going to have you hold on to the robot. We're going to need that robot. Okay. And I think that's how it's going to be. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go in actually as Bogan because I want to be able to drop that robot as soon as possible. As Rick, um, I'm going to use, let's see, actually here. Rick, tell you what, take this shoddy, okay? Rick will have this. Faye will have the shotgun and the cowboy rifle. And then once I'm out of ammo for this, I'll switch over to the shotgun. I'll have Faye switch, okay? But that's how that's going to go. Um, Bogan as the leader just to start things off. Okay, that way I can drop robot immediately and then swap meet. Okay, um, status or team actually smashing for now, fighting. Okay, and that's how that'll go for now. Now let's go see what we've got here as far as the situation goes. It looks like I'll be able to go up and around this way, which is what we'll do. Okay, I mean, honestly, right now, it seems surprisingly chill. We're going to need to make it till 5 in order to survive. 5 to survive, okay. Um... Actually, I'll save that. What I'm going to do is... Yeah, just keep on sledgehammering for now. Okay. They're starting to build up there, so I'll start to shoot some grenades at them to clear out the numbers. Thin the herd. Okay. Bogan just got hurt. Going to have to watch Bogan. Okay, we're one hour in. Okay, but we've got a nice track here. We've got a nice circle that we can do here. Um, now what I'm going to do is... Do I want to switch? Yeah, I'm not going to switch to shooting just yet. Not just yet. Going to fire another grenade back there. Oop! I hit Faye. Sorry, Faye. Okay. Here we go. Just going to... Fire one more back out that way. There we go. Okay, now I'm out of ammo here, which means that I'm going to swap the shotgun. There you go. And team, we'll go shooting now, all right? Oh, no, I don't want to be Faye. Excuse me. Um, hello? Team? There we go. Okay. I am in charge. I can't believe the robot's still alive, honestly. Okay, Bogan, you need to stay alive, buddy. Okay, 305, we're halfway through. There's the ammo over here. I want to get that ammo. And I've also got my Uzi. I cannot forget about the Uzi, which is going to be used for clearing paths for us. Come on, contender. All right, 340, everybody. we got just over an hour to go. Come 
Come on, everybody. Okay. Bogan, why do you have that shotgun, by the way? Um, Bogan should definitely not have that shotgun. So what is happening here? Swap meets. Um, drop that shotgun, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, he should... Oh, God. Like, come on. I want you to drop that shotgun, man. Here, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I can't take it. I can't take, I can't take it off of him. I really wish that he didn't have that shotgun. I'm a little annoyed, to be honest. Okay, four o'clock. Grab this ammo. Shoot all these zombies. Okay, 410. We just got one freaking hour to go, everybody. I don't want to... Jinx us, but we're doing all right at the moment. Half hour to go. I got plenty of shotgun shells. Okay, one more time around, and then we should be good to go. Oh, don't go in there. Do not go in there. Okay, and I think actually, okay, yeah, we'll be able to. We'll be able to do this. We'll get out of here. We can go! Oh, fantastic. Yes, let's hit the road. I can't believe we did it! And that was actually pretty easy. It was actually pretty easy. Contender rolls up her sleeves and starts sending to the wound. She lacks some medical supplies, but manages to improvise. Okay. Oh, and Bogan heals himself because he's got no misregeneration. Oh. Okay, guys. One more thing. Impossible Mega Cheese at nightfall. Nightfall, everybody. Um, which makes me wonder, should I bring a flashlight? Okay, bring the sh or leave the shotgun behind. Faye, you can leave this. What are you wielding here, Faye, by the way? What happened to your weapon? What is that? A zombie leg? A zombie leg? What? What happened to your... What What, what did you have before? Okay, sledgehammer. Um, zombie leg? Excuse me? You had the sword. What happened to the sword? What happened to the sword? Why would you have dropped the... Oh. Oh, dear. I'm not sure why she dropped the sword. But she did. Um, and then, you know what? I'm going to give you... Uh, actually, you know what? You, we have the chainsaw, too. Sure. Take the chainsaw. Why not? Uh, you know what? Actually, Rick, you take the chainsaw. All right? I feel like you'll do better with it. And then the Uzi can go to Faye. All right? Faye, Uzi. Okay, I think that that's pretty good. Let's go. Oh, man, she's gonna blow! Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, it's another one of these. Okay. This is what happened. Uh, I think the plate before last, just all of the zombies were right up top. Waiting for us. Okay. They were just all piled up here. Um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to have them smashing just for now and then I'll have them defending because I don't want them plowing forward necessarily. Okay, we'll go up around the side. There we go. To get to the Canadians. Okay, we got this. There we go. Hello, Canadians. And uh, now I'll switch to shooting. All right. Shooting and defending. And you know what? Now, actually, I think I will swap weapons. Because I, I, I kind of want that... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Here, you can take the shotgun, okay? Oh, God. Ah! I don't want to switch characters. Okay. Wait. Do I not have the ammo? She has the ammo. Unbelievable. I, I don't like it when it, that happens. Okay. She has... Like, I can't swap the ammo. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Wait. But now she has all the shotgun ammo? Oh my god, I, I honestly don't understand how the swapping works in this game. Now she has all the ammo. Okay. Um, so that's just, that's just wonderful. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Everybody just stand back. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Where's that Mega Mountie? There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. 
Okay, good. Uh, get back. Get back, zombies. Okay, everybody, pull back. Running, running. I should just have them on running, actually. Just keep running. Running, go! We did it. We freaking did it. Are you kidding me? We did it. The full crew. Full Zombo points. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got a bunch of Chivos that time. No one left behind. World champ, grueling victory. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see what happened to this group. That was a pretty big detour. Oh, there's only two more modes to go, everybody. It's going to be the the Familiar Characters Extreme, which, by the way, thanks for all the suggestions you guys put in. I'm going to be building your characters. We're going to be doing that. And then it's the Keepa mode. There's probably going to be a small break between this run and the next one, but let's see what happened to everybody in Canada. Contender, one, two, one, two, I'm brutal and ruthless. She ran around punching things and muttering. People, animal statues, you name it. Bogan, good work, bub. Bogan was mistaken for a rare subspecies of wolverine and got thrown into a zoo. He didn't mind. Faye, woo. Faye became a legendary folk hero after suplexing a moose that she was arguing with. Oh, so glad to hear it. What's next? What happened to me? Rick later was elected president of all lumberjacks due to his mighty strength. Oh, good ending for everybody there, everybody. Oh, that was a that was a great playthrough. We got really lucky with that last uh, siege. The fact that we were able to run in circles is what really saved us. The layout of that town was completely ideal. Thank goodness for some of that RNG. We had a lot of good RNG. Hit some moments there. Where it was shaky, and I wasn't sure how things were going to uh, work itself out, but it did. Uh... Man, what did you guys think of that playthrough? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Marathon mode, it's done. It's in the books, guys. Only two more modes, as I said. Uh, let's go to unlocks real quick because I've got these uh, Zombo points. Let's talk to you know me real quick. Um, so I can do extra ZP3. Rare Finder 2. Chance of a rare road event will slightly increase. You may also find an extra rare event in the game. Oh, an extra rare. Um, let's unlock it. There we go. We're using up all of those... Zombo points and let's hit the road and just take a look real quick at the new game modes All right, so the game mode that we're going to be doing next everybody is going to be the familiar Whoops, <laughs> it's going to be the familiar characters extreme mode is what I was gonna say uh, Familiar characters extreme mode game mode. There we go. It's down here. I'm always hitting the top ones the bottom ones There we go familiar extreme uh, they will be facing 160% more zombies than usual, which we're used to after doing the extreme mode, okay? Uh, I don't want to say used to, but we've done it before, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing next time. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving this a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, and come back next time. I'll see you guys then.